Hi, welcome to the Adventist University of the Philippines Chemistry Laboratory. What you are looking at is the setup for titration. Before we begin the procedure, let me acquaint you with the basic glassware involved, not only in the procedure itself, but also in the preparation of the solutions needed. The Bicker, Erlenmeyer flask, volumetric flask, volumetric pipettes, both the 25 ml and the 10 ml. So here again is the setup. Notice how the milliliter graduations on the burette start from zero at the top and increases as we go downwards to the bottom. For each trial, it is important to record the initial volume or the volume of titrant before the titration and the final volume or the volume after the procedure. Remember to rinse the burette before using it. This is done by pouring some distilled water into the burette, making sure that all the inner surfaces of the burette come in contact with the water. This is to ensure that the inside of the glassware is clean before using it. This washing procedure may be repeated as necessary. For the final rinsing, use a little of your sodium hydroxide titrant to rinse off any remaining water inside the burette. Pour this into a waste jar as shown here. Now, we are ready to fill up the burette with the rest of the titrant we used in rinsing it off. Momentarily open the stopcock to let the titrant fill the bottom part of the burette. Then, fill up the burette to capacity, which should be about 0 ml. Record this as your initial volume. Take the hydrochloric acid solution, whose concentration we do not know yet, and pour some of it into a small beaker. This is to be diluted further before it can be used as our analyte. Using a volumetric pipette, 10 ml of it is carefully transferred to a clean volumetric flask. Distilled water is then added slowly to the flask until the lower meniscus is at the calibration mark. With its cup in place, it is then mixed by inverting and shaking it many times like so. Pour some of the diluted solution into a clean beaker. Then pipe it exactly 25 ml of this diluted hydrochloric acid solution into an Erlenmeyer flask which we will use to titrate the solution. This is now the analyte. Add about 3 drops of the noctiline indicator to the solution and mix by swirling. Now we can start titrating. Start titrating by slowly opening the burette stopcock and allowing the titrant to mix with the analyte. Make swirling motions with one hand while the other hand controls the drip by opening and closing the stopcock. The level of the titrant in the burette goes down accordingly. The swirling must continue as the titrant is mixed. Take note when the pink coloration in the solution starts to appear with each drop of the titrant that would indicate that the titration is about to reach endpoint. The white paper below the flask makes it easy to see the pink coloration. Take note that we only want a very faint pink color to appear. When that happens, record the last burette reading as the final volume. Get the difference between the initial and the final volumes to find the total volume of titrant added to the analyte. Continued addition of titrant after the endpoint has been reached will result in a darker pink color in the analyte which must be avoided, as this color indicates that the pH of the solution is already above the equivalence point for the reaction. And this is how titration is done. I hope you have learned something from this and thank you for watching.